What's the best streaming service? That's a good question. What's the best? Okay, let's run through. I, I feel like we we have to, we got to speak to, what do you define as best? The most content? Or are we talking about quantity or quality here? Um, Because if it's about quantity, that's easy. YouTube is YouTube's the best then. Well, I, I I was referring to like Netflix, the Hulu's, the Amazon. Yeah. The okay. So like so okay. Let's let's define streaming service. Um, it's something you have to pay for. That's the criteria I'm gonna go by. Because like e, 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 there's red. I mean YouTube. I, mean, I guess YouTube. What is it, YouTube Red? YouTube is it, YouTube TV. YouTube TV or whatever. All right, so if you want to consider YouTube TV, but that's like if I'm gonna include all of YouTube, but but again, free, the stuff on YouTube TV, I don't, I I haven't delved really, I no, haven't dived I don't do, into I don't it. Do YouTube TV. I haven't dived into it, so I'm not even sure if they actually have shows or if it's just movies. But in terms of what I watch the most, in terms of streaming, it's YouTube, hands down, it's fucking YouTube. I watch more YouTube, but that's not even fair. That's not even fair. Right? It's free. Well, it's, right? it's free, and, 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 and YouTube and, has been around since like 2006. Well, so is Netflix. No, Netflix wasn't out. That Netflix is is is. Ne- Netflix was a it was a, like a, it was block, a but, uh, yeah. They tried to block, but it was it was it was mail order DVDs. But I'm we're talking about streaming though. Right. Okay. As a streaming service, Netflix probably popped. Ne- off Netflix is new. 2009. Like YouTube is like the grandfather. Yeah, get your grandfather then. So if if we include YouTube. I'm saying YouTube gets the one I watch the most. Right. Right. So how I'm defining best is what, what I watch you like. the most. <laughs> yeah, of course. Best is what it's it's subjective. Like what, what's the answer to this? There isn't one. Right. This is strictly an opinionated question. Oh, like, for sure. Like most of these questions. Like if I'm just gonna go stuff you pay for, I'm gonna go HBO Max. I think HBO Max is a phenomenal service. Hmm. I mean, they're 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 great. One of the biggest reasons why there's an argument to be made is that with this new pandemic world that we live in, you got movies in the theaters that you could just stream I on think, HBO. I think it's Warner Brothers yeah. they're partnered with. Yeah, no, Warner Brothers owns HBO. Right, and and you you could uh, Disney movies and Warner Brothers. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's an argument to be made, but not nearly as many titles. Well, as the other, they're getting up there, but not nearly as many titles as Amazon, as Netflix, even arguably Hulu, HBO Max versus Hulu. The one thing I will say about HBO Max is that their new content, for the most part, is very, very hit or miss. Like, they'll have every now and then, like, like Euphoria is great. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a big hit for them. You know, Bill Maher has been on there forever, who I watch. I love Bill Maher. John Oliver is on his, like, his ninth or tenth season. He's been on there a while. He's great. Game of Thrones ended, so that was a big hit for them. You can go back and watch the old Game of Thrones. Like The Wire is still great to watch. The what? Sopranos? Sopranos is still great to watch. Oh, you're real Italian for saying it that way. Like Sopranos? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, You don't um, say Sopranos. You say Sopranos. I give, I give HBO Max the edge because of their older content. Like, Jazz and I have been watching all the Final Destination movies because I've never seen them. They're all on HBO. Like, I want to I want to watch Why The Mummy. That? That's such a Netflix title. Why is that on HBO? Because, dude, I that, mean, because Final Destination, come on. It's because, not, it's, dude, like, Final Destination it? isn't, isn't. Who owns it? Who who made the movie? There's, if Warner Brothers made the movie and owns the movie, that's why it's on Netflix. Because they have the library. They have they own so much. HBO can have so much stuff on there because their parent company owns so much. However, we're in the modern era where movie houses aren't winning. W- streaming is winning. Yeah, of course. So historically, with all the stuff that Warner Brothers owns for sure, but in the new age, you know. You got Netflix produced. You got Netflix originals, Amazon originals, Hulu originals, Peacock originals. Peacock sucks. I hate Peacock. Oh my god! I I joined. I I did a free trial of Peacock just to watch the new uh, modern Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's fair. Which was which was all right. Season finale sucked, but everything else in between. Well, if this if this question was asked a few years ago, I would have said the WWE Network. Oh boy. Uh, because <laughs> I know super niche, but as a wrestling fan. It was perfect. 
absolutely if you ask any mark out there who likes wrestling who was described to the network they will tell you how much they miss it because it got bought by peacock they uh, peacock paid them a billion dollars or nbc paid them a billion dollars Man, that's a power move i'm all, serious all, dude. The, all I, the wrestling I'm not, fans i'm not exaggerating all it the was wrestling a fans billion would... dollar deal and they absorbed the network all of the content from the network has been streamlined over to peacock it just it sucks because what the network was was incredibly organized specifically tailor-made for wrestling so like say christian you wanted to watch wrestlemania 17 on the WWE network but you want to watch a specific match, like the ladder match, which is super famous. What the network did was you would play the video and you would skip from it would, from match to match, through, like, pretty much through chapters, like a scene selection built into the streaming service, right? which no other platform has. So when they merged over to Peacock, they couldn't take that feature in there because it wasn't coded into their platform. And they're not going to do that because it only really works for wrestling. So instead, if I want to go find that ladder match, I have to fast forward and hope I get it right. So I would have said WWE Network because it was just perfect, but I can't because Peacock bought them, so fuck Peacock. I would... I'm, I'm going to say Netflix. Netflix is king. I'm going to say Netflix just because Netflix is the Uber of streaming. Even yeah. when, and I, I, I've driven Lyft. Every, even when people are in, in my Lyft, they say, I'm in an Uber. They're on the phone. Where are you doing? I'm in an Uber. In Uber. Yeah. And I'm no, like, you're right. And I'm like, man, I don't even like this job. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but say that you were in a Lyft. <laughs> Respect my title. <laughs> <laughs> Uber denied me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Netflix is, Netflix is probably because they were the visionaries. Yeah. I mean, excluding YouTube, but YouTube wasn't thinking about shows and movies. Well, YouTube is they, also- They weren't thinking about that. YouTube-, they, they, YouTube is a newcomer to the block when it comes to, to movies and television shows. They just added that. YouTube is also a platform that is only content made by others. Right, like in like individual, and anyone can do it. Do, do they, they're not anyone there yet. Do they it. don't have YouTube originals yet. I mean, they they probably do, but their bread and butter is people. Yeah. Right, like I can't upload my podcast to Netflix. They have to buy it. Mm-hmm. So that that's what, another distinction between YouTube and the rest of streaming services, where YouTube is readily available to everybody, right. as opposed to like Netflix, they have to buy it. I I still love Netflix. You know, I'm still subscribed to Netflix. I still watch Netflix. However. Netflix has a very poor business model. It was an excellent business model for its time because it was brand new, it was affordable, and everyone wanted to be on Netflix. However, the one thing they don't have is the rights to old content, which is the one-up that a Hulu, an Amazon, or specifically a Warner Brothers and HBO have because they have their library of a hundred years of stuff to put on. Like, iRobot is on HBO, and I can't wait to rewatch iRobot with Will Smith. Right. But, like, that won't be on Netflix because Netflix doesn't have the rights. So HBO has that double one-two punch of the old stuff they, they for got, people they like had, me. They have the originals. And the original stuff for people who care about original content. Netflix doesn't have that, which is why their business model is going to fail because it costs so much to produce these shows. Well, they do acquire... It takes them a while, though. Yeah, but they're they're stuck in they're stuck in. They have to make more deals that aren't already done. Yeah, and they're stuck in the subscriber model. The only way Netflix can make money is through subscribers. That's it. That's it. Because they they acquire the rights to a lot of movies and cult following TV shows yeah. but like Breaking I guess the Bad. point the po- yeah I mean that's huge but that but that contract- and that and that was originally we know that it was an AMC show mm-hmm. but I believe it was originally on Amazon like Sopranos was originally on Amazon Prime no it, it's it was also no, not, well, not originally it was, it was originally it was, it was originally also, on HBO it was also on also it was on also Amazon able to Prime. watch on Prime that's right because it was uh, we all know it was HBO yeah but they but, had, they had, they had, so it's funny how these Amazon. these streaming platforms they make power moves yeah they said oh like i i was very very upset when um the show 24 which was a fox yeah, show yeah it was fox it was on prime um actually no 
No, it was. It was. It was on, it was on Prime. It was. On, it was on Prime. It was on Prime. I watched a few seasons on Prime. And, and I, I've watched that show t- too many times to count. It's on Hulu now. And it moved to Hulu. Yeah, it's on Hulu. And it was at that moment where I subscribed to Hulu. Yeah. You know, power moves that that a lot of these streaming services make. But now we're going off on a tangent. Like I'm telling you that that older content is just as valuable, if not more valuable, if not more valuable than new content. People love their member berries, which is why Paramount Plus for me is a sleeper. Because they have all of Nickelodeon, and they have so much. Like Paramount owns a shit ton of stuff as well, so there's a lot of cool stuff on Paramount, and they have a deal with South Park where only new stuff for South Park goes on Paramount. So like they have stuff to work out there, but there's so many services out there I can't buy all of them. There's only so much password sharing you can do. But for right. me, it's HBO and YouTube. That's what I watch the most of. That is appointment television for me. 